Welcome back to RPG A Day 2017. It's day 20, and the question for today is what is the best source of out of print RPGs? Now, I'm not going to answer this question because generally, to be honest, I don't look for a lot of out of print RPGs. If it's out of print or too difficult to get hold of, I genuinely don't get hold of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer one of the alternate questions. And that question is, campaigns, do you prefer set length or open-ended play? Now, if you'd have asked me this when I was a little bit younger, sort of in my student days, I'd have no doubt said open-ended play, since those were the days of massive, sprawling campaigns played every other day, mostly sort of World of Darkness in my case, with no sort of lasting end or overall goal. It'd be a campaign like, oh, you're some vampiric neonates in a Camarilla city, or... And that'd be pretty much it, to be honest. And that was absolutely fun. We got a blast doing that. We'd all create a fairly random, ramshackle group of characters, throw them into this setting, and we'd just see how we got on. Possibly the most, not the most sort of deep and meaningful role-playing experience, but so what? We had a great deal of fun doing it. And I really enjoyed a lot of those sessions. However, as I've sort of got a bit older and my, my free time's got a bit more limited, I found myself swinging more and more towards preferring campaigns with a set length. And the reason for that is simply this, that I was playing a lot of different stuff, so I, I never really got bored with one game system or wanted to try something new, because there was always something new there that you could just give a go. However, with my timing a bit more limited now, and there's only so many games that I can actually fit into a, a week i tend to find that quite often if i'm playing a, a long sort of open-ended campaign after i think i'm wrong i'll enjoy it but after a, a little bit of time I, i'll start thinking oh well yeah i'm enjoying this but there's some other games i'd like to play and well i haven't really got the time to fit those in and this so since i tend to run a lot of games what i've tended to do now is i tend to go more for set lengths of campaigns which have a beginning a middle and a defined end and when you reach that end you wrap it all up nicely you have the player what i like to do is i have the players give like an epilogue for their character saying what sort of happened to them as the credits were rolling sort of thing to use a tv analogy and since we know it's the end of the campaign the players can normally sort of cut loose with that and take a bit more liberties with the setting in their epilogue i did it recently for a dungeon world campaign i ran and i finally linked it all together with the eldest of the the players the, the one who died last the the sort of halfling who was now an, an ancient druid as he sort of like breathed his last having spawned the genesis of like a new order of druids to care for the great forest on this campaign world he traveled across the the murky waters of death's domain guided by the ferryman on his last journey and then met up with the the spirits of his friends long gone waiting for him on the far bank and that was just a really nice close to the scene encapsulated everything nicely the players all got to do their little bit beforehand and somewhat what had happened to their characters and it was all neatly tied together i really enjoyed it as a campaign ending in fact i watched it fairly recently and Still very much enjoyed watching the video back, which is, I genuinely prefer to keep pushing forward. And I'm very much the same with my campaigns. I like to have a, def a defined end because once that campaign has ended, I can then start thinking about the next one. I can move on to a different game, a different subject, a different genre, whatever. It helps, keeps it fresh, keeps my sort of, my creative juices flowing, which in my opinion results in a far better game. So. To answer the question, I prefer set length campaigns, but it doesn't necessarily have to be as strict as this campaign will run for 10 sessions. It could be this campaign is going to run until you've overcome the, the evil necromancer, or this campaign is going to run until you find out 
find out what did happen to the the lost sailing vessel that disappeared in the mists something like that but as long as you have that defined ending it's very useful as well because it also gives the characters something to work towards now don't get me wrong i, I like to think i'm a good enough role player that if you just said oh we're going to play uh we're going to play an open-ended campaign here's a rough theme for it make a character i could do that and i'd start creating my own character goals however it's handy to have that defined end of the campaign because it instantly gives all of the player characters a goal to work towards. So to use my example of the, oh, you're trying to overthrow the evil necromancer, the players come into the game knowing that's going to be the goal of the campaign. They create characters based on that information and they can all work towards that. And it gets you all pointing in the same direction, going straight towards it from the get-go out of the gates so to speak and i think that can be very useful for maybe the gms and the players who haven't got a lot of time to sort of amble around the goal of a campaign before eventually coming to it so i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have you'll consider clicking on like and subscribe until we see you next time take care and happy gaming And we hope you've enjoyed these videos. You'll consider checking out some of the others on Red Dice Diaries. Take care.